made a list of everything that's gone on between you. My name is Jeff, Jeff Wright, and I play Rob Gordon in High Fidelity. Rob is the, um, he's the lead male character, and he has a series of ex-girlfriends that he has really had a hard time with. He's a pretty immature guy, even though he should have grown up a long time ago, and through the course of the show, he, he kind of tries. The stupid things I've said and done. I did know about High Fidelity. Actually, I have a little bit of history with it because I saw it on Broadway, um, and it only ran for about 13 performances. Um, and I enjoyed parts of it immensely, but then when I later got the cast recording, I absolutely fell in love with it. And then in 2008, I had the, the honor of playing Rob that time as well when New Line produced it. So yeah, I, I feel like I know the show pretty well. It's become my trade and style. I don't know if I can narrow it down to just one. So I'll have to say that the opening number of the last real record store on Earth is fantastic. Um, it brings out the entire cast, it has all different kinds of styles in it, and it's just fun as hell to sing. I also love uh, the song Laura Laura for very different reasons. It's one of the true ballads in the show, and it just has such touching lyrics and um, tells a story that uh, Rob really needs to tell. The face to say what I never had the grace well, um, in a lot of ways. There are um, a few of the cast members that are returning from 2008, but more than the majority of the cast is new. So that's been great um, to connect with people and characters in different ways. So there's a lot of new personalities um, that we're seeing in these characters. And we're in a different space. We have a different set designer. So we have a different set, different lighting designer too, different sound designer too. So yeah, there are a lot of differences. So it will definitely be a fresh take on High Fidelity. Um, and we're all four years older, you know, those of us that did it before. So I think, at least for me, that brings a little bit more perspective. Well, because it's not produced very often at all, um, the last time it was produced in St. Louis was four years ago, and uh, it is incredibly entertaining. There's all different types of music that um, came from all different sources, so there'll be some familiarity, but songs that you may or may not have ever heard before, but you'll go out wanting to hear them again and again. So it's just a lot of fun, and it, it's, a, it's a great story. There's great choreography, um, there's great costuming, design, and everything, so check it out. <laughs>